guys, I am Kobe Chantel. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Um, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. I like to share all things home, fashion, and lifestyle. So today I am coming to you with fashion video, style video, as I showcase some of the blue looks that I've been loving lately. It was all inspired by these jeans from Zara. Absolutely love these jeans. Um, they are the light wash um, wide leg jeans i will have to add the reference number to these jeans in the description box but these jeans um are like a fave now and they're heavy in my rotation and just wanted to share them with you as i style four different looks with just one pair of jeans so i'm traditionally a sweatpants girl love sweatpants love gym shoes but i do love a good pair of jeans and like wide leg cut has been like super trendy lately and i've just hopped on the bandwagon and so i'm sharing four looks that i love with my new favorite zara jeans so I'm going to showcase some of those looks. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me at Kobe Chantel. I did create a reel with the four styles that I'm showcasing here today. I will put the reel video in here. So um, here's the reel video. This, again, like I said, was, was inspired by these jeans that I purchased from Zara um, randomly from a random mall visit and just love them. So those are the four looks. I'm gonna put them on for you now and tell you a little bit more about where I found those pieces at and why these styles really cultivate who I am and really cultivate my style, shape my style, and why um, I chose these four looks. So stay tuned for more. So here are my Zara jeans that I'm loving. I just love how they like hug my little itty bitty curves. I like to call myself Judy but uh, most people don't think that I am Judy, but that's okay. I believe it in my heart, right? <laughs> so here are my Zara jeans that I'm loving. Um, I feel like they just fit in all the right spaces. And I have some room in the waist. I, you know, don't have a big waist. So um, I have some room there. So if I do wanna do a belt, just to kind of close that gap in the back, I could. Or I could do the shoestring hack or the string hack, but yeah, love these jeans. Super cute. This is what they look like from behind. One reason why I really love them is like, they'll be super cute with like a nice pump. Um, so I have a style here with a heel or pump so that you can kind of get a feel for what it looks like. And then I'll also be wearing them with gym shoes and Jordans as another feel for what that will look like. But yeah, favorite jeans, love them so much. So. Um, here is the puffer vest that I wanted to style it with. So these are really like, these looks are really shades of blue. Light blue is like a personal favorite for me. Love light blue, love sky blue. Um, it's just always been a fave. But this puffer vest I found from ASOS. So one thing about me is I love ASOS. I think I'm just spoiled because I love the really quick turnaround time being able to get my delivery next day if i order within that certain time window so like asos has been like my bread and butter shop there a lot um and i just think i've been spoiled ridiculously spoiled by asos but the puffer vest was found at asos and so as you know puffer vests are like super in style right now they're very trendy the crop style this puffer vest actually has the drawstrings at the bottom so it even gives you a, like even more of like a cropped feel especially from behind i'm gonna put it on in a moment but just giving you like insight to what the vest looks like um it's super cropped super cute love the color i honestly want it in every color like i want black white yellow green blue and every color because i just think the vest is super cute i just paired it with a cute white crop that i have from fashion i believe but yeah, so here's the drawstrings at the bottom. Tighten it just to give you more of like the crop effect. Then it has the zipper so you can zip it if you so desire. I probably would not wear it zipped up with this look, but this is another way that you could possibly wear it. And I've been loving puffer vest with the shoulders out lately. Like it's just been a thing for me. So 
this is a trendy look that I've been wearing. Really love this a whole lot. Here are the shoes that I'm pairing with the puffer vest. These are my Jordan 1's Hyper Royals. Love these so bad. These were actually a birthday gift from my little brother. Shout out to Luke. I know you're gonna watch this video. Love you so much, brother. But he surprised me with these for my birthday, I think in 2021. So last year, I had these were on my wish list and I did not make the cut. Sneaker that you hate me real bad. I know it, but it's okay. So yeah, pairing the puffer vest with these. Here's the look with the Hyper Royals. Super cute. I probably could do a white belt because as I told you, the back of this is out and the shoestring hack would show. So likely would do a white belt with this if I were headed out. Just wanted to give you a little bit more of a closer view of what this look looked like. And the reason why I paired it with the Hyper Royal Jordan 1s is because I just like the blue peeking out at the toe. Like I feel like that's just like a vibe because the puffer vest is blue and the peak of the toe is blue. So I don't know, it's just giving like real coordination. And I'm like a matchy matchy person sometimes. And so, I don't know, I think it's super cute. You can do this a variety of different ways. Of course, you can wear it with some Air Force Ones. You can wear it with um, some regular Nikes. You can wear it with some boots, if you will. Um, you can wear it a bunch of different ways. But like I said, I chose the Jordan Ones just because I feel like it just speaks to my personal style <laughs> a lot. But this is like a look that I love. Probably one of my favorite looks of the four. At heart, I'm so much so a Tom girl. Like I love a cute girly boyish look um and so this look just resonates with me deep deep down in my soul i'm gonna get changed into the next look i'm doing this zara piece so this blazer is super old i want to say like two years or three years old but it's from a zara collection love the texture of this blazer it's super thick um, so it's more of like your fall, early fall, early winter material, but the blue is just a vibe. Love it. And it's something that I would totally style for spring, especially in Michigan because the weather just fluctuates so much. Like some days it's 40, some days it's 80. I mean, you just never know. Um, so much for global warming because I don't feel like it's efficient and effective here in Michigan. I think I'm gonna style this with my white pumps. So I got these specific pumps from Forever 21. I was at the mall and I seen these shoes in the window and I'm like, oh, those are cute. Um, and so I typically don't shop at Forever 21, but found some cute shoes from there. And I'm one of those people who like does not care where pieces are from. If they're super cute, I just buy them. So yeah, these were from Forever 21. And if I can find a link to these, if you're interested, I will certainly share them, but super cute pump. It has more of like your patent leather finish. So I think that's another thing that I love too. And I love this really thin spaghetti strap of the shoe. I don't know, I think it'd be really cute with like a cute dainty dress. So that's the reason why I got these. So this is look number two with the Zara blazer and my cute Forever 21 pumps and this cute little mini bag from ASOS. You guessed it. Love this look. Like I said, I am obsessed with this blazer. I've probably worn it like 30 times maybe. But love this blazer. And I think what I love most about this blazer is the pockets. Super convenient. Like I said, this blazer is probably so far gone from Zara, so you probably won't be able to find it, so I won't be able to add a reference number. But this little cute dainty bag was like $25, $30 on ASOS. And it's just super cute. I, I hear a lot of mixed reviews about mini bags. Like some people say, I don't like mini bags because you can't put anything in them. Other people say they just really go with your aesthetic of your outfit. What's your review? What does the survey say for you? Do you like mini bags? I'm curious. Drop it down in the comments. I would love to know. But yeah, love this look. Super dainty. I probably would wear this to like church. Maybe not with the crop top, but um, I would either wear it to church or brunch or just like for an evening out with my husband. It's giving like mature, sexy mama. You know, what else is it giving? You tell me. But. This is look number two, totally a vibe. I 
Alrighty, I'm gonna get changed into this solid blue button up. Alrighty, so this is my oversized button up from ASOS. This button up is a little old too, but yeah, it has a pocket up here. I don't know that I would ever use the pocket, but love oversized button ups just for the purpose of being able to wear them really slouchy. Um, I'm choosing to do my Public Desire um, iridescent heel sandal um has like a black chunky heel and i just think it's super cute with this look again it gives you a little bit of height with the look the iridescent strap is kind of peeking out super cute dainty also kind of giving like lunch vibes um or just headed out um maybe with friends just going out for the day but i love this look it's really comfortable the shoe is really comfortable i probably would do like a crossbody with this as well just something simple just so that you can see the look but i love this look probably will be wearing this look really soon lastly i'm gonna do my blue jean jacket this blue jean jacket i got in college but i found it in my closet and i have not let it go i think it's the wash of the jacket that's making me keep it but i'm like super in love with oversized blue jean jackets i just have not found another light wash like the dark wash one that i have so i think i'm just holding on to this one just for safety but i'm gonna put this blue jean jacket on as my last look Alrighty, so here is my denim jacket from Forever 21. I am a sucker for denim on denim, and I am going to style this look with these platform Adidas. No lie, during 2020, during the pandemic, I got these Adidas for like $40 on their website. They were like on sale. Crazy sale, a crazy sale. I think they were like originally like $89 and yeah, for half off. Only worn them twice. I feel like they're just a good signature white platform shoe to have in your closet. So, alrighty, so shoes are on. Um, again, I'm a little shorter, and so the jeans do kind of come. They give you like that short girl vibe at the bottom at the pant leg. Yeah, this is the look. Um, like I said, I'm obsessed with denim on denim. I probably would like cuff my sleeves because that's what I like. Would likely wear a crossbody with this as well. But love this look. Super cute, super girly. I probably would wear this to like go run errands, maybe go to Target and just walk around and buy things that I don't really need, but because I'm at Target and I'm going with the vibes, would just be in there buying stuff just because. But here's a look. What do you think? So I would love to hear your feedback. What do you think of the four blue looks that I style? Which one is your favorite? Which one would you wear? How would you style it? Or how would you style it differently? Talk to me in the comments, let me know. And until next time, make sure you subscribe. I will be back with another style video just for you. And can't wait to talk to you guys soon. Bye.